up? It's Orgy Ave, and today I want to just talk about something. Well, not talk. I'm going to show you something. Have you ever thought or have you ever made a drop and you're like, man, this drop isn't very good. I need to change the bases and stuff. What if it's not the drop itself? What if it's the drums? I've been uh, going back to this and I've been using this process for a while now and I just wanted to share it with you because it really has opened my mind about the way I make my drops and music. I've been using a lot more drum loops to get ideas for my drops and my tracks. So let's go over to Ableton and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go. In Ableton, I've already set up some drum loops. I'm going to solo each drum loop and then I will show you the drop that I picked to play the drums with. And all these drums are different, kind of different genres. And I have two different drops right here. The drops I used are from Tainan uh, Sample Pack. I have no idea if I am butchering his name or not. But this dude makes some amazing music and it's like really heavy dubstep, maybe trap, um, rhythm style a little bit. But anyways, we are going to listen to the drums individually, and then I will play the drops individually, and then we will listen, and I will ask you what you think, okay? And then I know you're thinking, they're like, man, that's a lot of different genres. How are you going to make it sound good with only using one drop? Okay, I'll let you listen to the drop. It's a pretty cool drop. I'm not going to lie. It's a really cool drop. I'll let you listen to the first one, the top one. All right, I'll let you listen to the second one. All right, we are going to listen to the first drop with the first set of drums. Okay, and it is crazy. It just sounds cool. I don't know why, it just does. And I'm going to play it for you right now. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Sounds good, really good. Okay, the second one, remember it's that Moombathon drum sound kit? This sounds, it sounds good too. I can't believe it sounds this good. Ready? Sounds crazy. And then the last one, the 128 BPM. This one is like, this reminds me of like drum and bass, but it's not at the drum and bass tempo, but it still reminds me of drum and bass. And it just sounds good. I don't know why. It just makes it feel, every drum makes it feel different. So let's go and press play. <laughs> All right, that is the first drop. Now I am going to not do them individually this time. I'm going to play the second drop and just play it from the beginning and it'll switch on its own. And you guys will be like, whoa, that is wild. And I thought it was wild the, like a couple times that I tried it. Like I would just switch out the drums. That's it. I would just change up the drum pattern and it just sounded cooler and it kept getting better. And I would keep changing the drum pattern until I could get like the best sounding with the drop I had or whatever I had and it's been working for me and I hope this works for you. So let's play the second one. I'll, let, I'll solo and let you listen to the uh, second drop. And it just repeats that the whole time but these drums make it feel so different and 
I'm considering maybe every time I make a cool drop, it's not the drop. It's the drums. It's really weird. But okay, let's play this. Oh, we'll play all of them. You think you're making like these bad ass drops and you just can't figure out the drums? Is You think it's that? Maybe you're going to go back to a project like right now and be like, man, maybe it is the drums and not the drop. That like ideas, crazy. And I'm going to play the first drop all the way through again. So you guys can hear that one more time. It just sounds so like it just makes it sound so different and but it sounds good. And it took me a little bit to find these loops to match these drops, but you can see they're all different BPM loops. And I used one main 150 BPM loop. So it's anything's possible. It's music. So go experiment. So let's listen to this. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. But anyways, leave a comment down below telling me if you enjoyed this video. It's not very, like, it's not a tutorial or anything. It's just kind of informative, maybe to help you out. I just came across this a couple months ago, and I was like, man, I should really share this. This is good information. But make sure to subscribe if you are liking these videos. It helps a lot. And make sure to share and like like the video if you really like it like it and i will catch you guys later and yeah see ya